If you enjoyed that mixture of sunshine and cloud for today and we're not needing to keep your sunglasses on all day long because of the sun cloud mix with the blue skies, well today was your day. If you were seeking those hot scorching temperatures that we're so used to for the month of July, unfortunately today was a big miss. My name is Jonathan Kovac. I'm in Timmins, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks so much for your interest and support as always. Our daytime highs struggled to pass up over 20 degrees by 12 noon and our Daytime highs did not quite make it up to the normal values. However, this morning's values were pretty much right on par. So we're in good shape for half the day temperature wise anyways. Today's weather is brought to you by this backward spinning low over Hudson Bay. And you can see the cloud cover winding around that low like a constant spiraling comma. Trough of low pressure extending from that low drifts across Northwest Ontario with the tail end of it ending over Manitoba. And this feature folks, the trough of low pressure is responsible for the northwesterly winds the below seasonal temperatures and a little bit of instability that the towering cumulus clouds delivered today in the form of isolated showers which affected the Timmins area for just a brief period this afternoon and the greater picture shows those showers passed over Highway 11 between Cochrane and the New York Falls. However, the Weather Network's point cast was saying crystal clear blue sky sunshine pretty much all day today for those regions. In fact, the sunshine extends right across Highway 11 between Kapuskis and Hearst and to our friends up in Moosonee who also took time to warm up past 20 degrees this afternoon. That's your on-camera presentation for today. I want to take some time to salute some events that took place across our region this weekend, such as Tressler's Harvest in Matheson, Ontario. Kara Tressler and her team took time to take on some customers and some general people, individuals, to take a tour of their facilities. Congratulations to Kara with her team of delivering organic foods and groceries across multiple locations around Northern Ontario. And also the Pork is Blue Festival took place in the Erica Falls this weekend. I know some family and friends who always take advantage of that event. Hopefully your weekend was a pleasant one. Here come the information pages for today.